Hey guys, my name is Freedom. Today I'm going to show you how to create or add any of the texture and do the texturing during your 3D modeling process in Blender 2.92. So now I want to show you an example. This original cube, click here to turn on the texture. It is totally blank, don't have any of the texture. As demo, I will just move this Move this cube to the side and I will create, I will add another mesh. For example, I add a cylinder. Alright, so now I have two shapes. When I select different shape, different selection. Let's say if now I select the original cube, it's under the layout mode. I already selected it and I click UV editing. In the UV editing, what you can do is only focus on this cube. It won't touch the cylinder. You have to click here to turn on all the texture. And you can see here, you have to click this symbol. And you can see the base color. It is white color. Right. It never, it never been selected to choose any of the texture. By the way, you can change the texture. You just need to click this yellow ball. You click Image Texture. And then you click Open. Alright, here I want to show you something. On my Windows 10 desktop, I already have a picture. This is a picture, just a PNG picture. So I want to use this as the texture and create a dice. What can I do? I select the desktop and double click the dice map. And here, you need to choose the dice map. Now, what happened to this? You see this cube at here? Click here, you can choose the surface. For this surface, let's say, if I want this surface, I can just to select this one and we can map map it map it here. So now I want to select this line. Click here to select the line and select the line and push it and this line make it up a little bit. Now you can see this surface already become 5. Besides that after that at the bottom here at the bottom here, you select the surface. The opposite of 5 should be 2. So you select this. Click here to move it, move the whole thing. And then you have to move this line. Click the line to select it. Alright, that is the way to change the UV mapping, how to apply the texture. Alright, as demo, I, I'm not going to show you I'm not going to do all the surface here. This is just a demo. If you are interested to create a dice, you can just make it one by one in this way. All right. So now I want to show you another one. That is the cylinder. How? If you want to create a UV on the cylinder, you have to back to the layout and make sure you click the cylinder to select it and then go to the UV editing. Alright, in your UV editing, click here. You can see, although you already can see there is a, a texture here, but it never show on the cylinder. Why? Because you, now you click here, you can see you never add any of the texture yet. So you have to click plus new. The base color. Of course, I can go to the Google search. Search a, a picture. Cylinder. 3D texture. Alright, so now what, what should I select? I will choose one. Just now I can see some. UV. I search in this way. 
Okay. Cylinder texture. Cylinder UV. I'm unable to find find a proper one. Okay, now let's say I choose this picture. You can see one surface at here and another to their white color. I just save this as image. I save on my desktop as a demo. This is cylinder texture PNG. Now it should be already on my desktop. This is the JPG. The JPG image, I want to use this as the texture. So what can I do? Just now already click plus new and I click here as well. If I change the color, it will change, but now the problem is I want to click the ball and add an image texture. That is what I want. Click the image texture and then click open. That should be on my desktop. I click the, the cylinder texture. Now here, you go to the cylinder texture, you can see how it been textured. We don't want this. This is the wrong, the wrong one. So So now I want to select everything here, all the surface, but it is not completed yet. For this one, I have to switch to wireframe and then I select all of this surface. Now you can see these two surfaces are not selected. Now I just want to settle the center part. The center part is here. Now it show on the UV, I select everything and then I move it and I want to resize it. I press S to resize it. Wait. I still lack of two points. I have to select the point. Now make sure make sure all selected already. Alright. Now I move move to here. I press S to rescale it. And I move it to here. All right, now I turn on the texture and let's have a look. Now everything is well well textured and this this surface I want it to map at here. So I drag it to here. I use the scale scale two to rescale it and press S to resize it and rescale it again. Now I move it move it to here. Of course, if you want to map it, you better map it properly and scale it properly so that it fit the texture like this. All right, so this side is white color and another side still still plot at the wrong place. So I'm going to move this as well, move to here. Rescale it and resize it. Make sure it is at the center. So now this is a perfect UV mapping. Of course, if you, you go to the texture paint, you can paint it here. If you choose color, see immediately it will just paint, paint, it, paint it here. And also here. Now it will immediately appear right here. Alright, so this is this is everything about how to 
how to use the UV texture texture pin and UV editing how to remap all the texture in blender blender 2.92 Right. Then I, if I back to the layout, I export it as FBX or I save it as demo, I will just save file, save as, I will save as a blender file on my desktop first. I can name it properly and click save as, and this is a blender file. And also I can file export as FBX file. Make sure you want to embed the texture, you click here to select copy. Make sure you turn this on and click the desktop and export it. Now, it is an FBX file on my desktop. If I double click it, it will open in the 3D viewer and also this FBX file can be imported into any of the 3D software, 3D animation software like iClone. You also can import into like into Unity import into Unreal Engine to make it as your game object, etc. And that's all for today about how to, how to use the Blender to perform a UV editing and also simple texture paints and then export it out. That's all for today. Thank you for watching. If you love my video tutorial, if you feel all these tutorial are very helpful to your 3D modeling, animation and game developing, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel and also turn on the mini bell and select all to activate the notification so that when next time I publish a new video tutorial, you receive a notification immediately. See you in my next video. Enjoy. Happy 3D modeling, 3D animation and 3D game developing. See you.